Mark, good evening. This announcement from the AP comes after counties in the district are wrapping up ballot counting. Let's take a look at the latest numbers. 91% of the reporting is in. Cartwright, who has held the seat since 2013, is leading over Bognet by 11,682 votes. As votes came in, the leader of this race kept switching. But as more mail-in ballots were counted, yesterday afternoon, Cartwright took the lead. Bognet is expected to lose by nearly 12,000 votes in a district with five counties. The two ran a great campaign. We spoke with both candidates. Bognet believes the race is not over. There will be a federal lawsuit to sort out the mail-in ballots, while Cartwright believes the results speak for themselves. Whether you voted for me or my opponent, I applaud you doing that, and I am committed to serving you. And if you voted against me, I'm going to work harder than ever to try to earn your vote next time. I believe we should count every vote. I believe we should count the military ballots and the provisional ballots. We're going to respect the results of the election when every vote is counted at the end of it. And I think there's going to be a lot of twists and turns over the next few weeks as litigation gets worked out. But we should follow the law in this election. We will hear from both of the candidates coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Scranton. Cody Butler, Eyewitness News.